Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearlism, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. B-Pal Picks Addiction. I always want to say addiction there. Why? Because you're all addicted to it. That's why. <laughs> you're addicted to the picks. And uh, you guys must have, some of you must have been very disappointed because the video I did last night had no volume. I woke up this morning and I looked at my thing. And, uh, you know, look at your phone, see how many of my fine viewers decided to watch the fine programming. And uh, somebody put in the comment section, hey, this one has no audio. Yeah, so that was fun. So I had to get up in the morning and do another one for you because we can't go without our picks. I know you're all sitting around, you know, hovering around your uh, computer. You got all the family together doing the Perlo dance. Because you got to do that first thing in the morning, just like that half an hour at least and then to have no audio must have been so disappointing for you okay so here we go um yesterday first of all uh thank you for subscribing go to the patreon I'll, again those of you who haven't gone over to patreon and been part of the fine programming over there i'll leave it in the uh bio and if you comment down on the bottom i'll give you a free month just for the heck of it, because I want to see you there. And uh, you know, I want you to try it out first before you purchase it. But even if you didn't, uh, and even if I do give you that, you can leave it anytime. You don't have to stick around. Nope, you can, you can go anytime if you're not enjoying the fine programming there. What I do over there is I give you an analysis of every game. I give you an over and under for just about every game. All right. I don't nail them all, but I'm running about 65% for all and then my large pearl picks I'm running about 70% I'll tell you what happened last night just to show you the kind of thing that we're doing there uh, we'll go to that right now um, subscribe and uh, right now and I'll send you a my NHL pearls of wisdom necklace by Helen or by knitted by Helen sent to you by Melissa or Hernandez in the pearl copter so go do that right now Right now. How about now? How about now? Okay. Okay. Let's go to uh, the score. Scores from yesterday. Let's look at this. Okay. Uh, Oilers over the Canucks. We had Oilers in rag. Golden. Didn't have. This is one time I, t I said just fade the, uh, fade the total. I really could not even think of putting the total to this game. Uh, as it turned out, it was under. Um, should have thought that Smith would keep rolling. Man, Smith is rolling good. Uh, by the way, if you want to hear uh, some um, a review of all of this with great individuals, I think today might be Peyton on the radio. Yesterday was John from Off the Wall Hockey and uh, Joe, Professor Joe from Sports Fanatic News. Uh, we uh, we go over all of this and we do picks there too. It's between. Three and five Eastern during during the week, five days a week, and uh, we talk about the last games, and we also get on and interact and frolic with you guys, and we do picks. You can tell me what your picks are for the next day, and it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. You might want to go over there sometime. It's all part of the Steel Flyers Network, which I'm part of, and all of those people are part of. That's www.steelflyersnetwork. Uh, yeah. Uh, Islanders versus Bruins. Um, I had the Islanders ML. I didn't think they would win like this. Uh, I had a little bit on the under, but not much. Uh, we had, because I'm giving it to my patrons. Uh, I, I say small pearls on something. But small pearls, and by the way, Patreon people, if I say small pearls, I mean small. Uh, if I say large pearls, that's where you put most of your stuff on. Uh, I think it was medium here, which is like, um, it's really what you think it is. Uh, but whatever that is to you, medium pearls. I had medium pearls, ML. Capitals versus Penguins. I had small pearls on the Capitals. And uh, small pearls on the over, I believe. So I think we were good there. Lightning versus Hurricanes. We had lightning uh, for large pearls. And uh, small pearls on the over, which we were incorrect about. 
So, uh, Panthers versus uh, the Stars. Uh, this is amazing that the Panthers pulled this out, and uh, not so amazing for the Stars. The Panthers were playing five games in seven nights, and that is – you shouldn't be losing to a team that's playing five games in seven nights, period. Um, it's really a, a, a kind of a – watermark of how you are as a team right now the stars are not very good it doesn't matter how good the team is you can't be losing to a team especially coming back in the third they should be exhausted by them you should have been beat them up enough by them that they're not going to be able to come back in the third so and uh so anyways i had the under on this game for large pearls and uh um Dallas starts to win. I was wrong. The Panthers were amazing. Uh, Blackhawks and Blue Jackets. I had this one incorrect. Uh, we had the Blue Jack. I had I I should have went with my gut because I was talking to or er, messaging down with uh, Best Bet Ed, who just started doing picks again. Go check him out. Best Bet Ed, fantastic ca hockey capper over there. Uh, he was 9 for 10 last night, and he had the Blackhawks. And I was like, yeah, it's hard to go against the Blackhawks. But then I ended up going against the Blackhawks. <laughs> and I was incorrect. Uh, the Black Blackhawks team is in trouble. Uh, this is the reason why I was afraid of going with the Blackhawks, was Corpusalo, and he got out-dueled against Malcolm Subban. So got to go with my gut a little more sometimes. Also had the over here, so we lost a little bit there. Senators, we nailed it. Except for I had under. I did not think the Senators were going to win 6-1 against the Flames, especially against a hot Riddick goaltender. Uh, but his uh, Riddick's uh, hotness went cold. And uh, Senators uh, pulled one out big time. But we did have Senators for some pretty big, uh, for on, a, on some pretty good juice. So that was great. Uh, Devils versus Sabres. This one ticks me off. We had, we didn't have either here. I had, um, Sabres in the under and, um, Eichel decides not to play while, just before the game, I turn it on to see, you know, how's my team doing? And, uh, Eichel's not in there and they have Cart, uh, Hutton playing in goal, which they didn't tell you all until game time. I wouldn't have taken the Sabres, and I certainly would have went the over if I would have known Hutton was in net. And I would have took the Devils, but that's what happens in hockey, right? Um, this was a bad one, too. I had the Predators, ML, and the Under. And um, just simply because they always are, I'm going to make at least the Under bet. The Predators, ML, was small pearls, but the, uh, the Under was big. I had large pearls on the Under here, so we lost on that one. But... This, these teams were under all day. Under all day. There was no reason to take over on there, especially with Bernier in that. Although the Predators only got two on him. But uh, Rene just pooped the bed. Hardcore. I did not put a bet on this at all. Sometimes I just paid games. I was, when I did the video for you last night, though, we had the Jets, which was good. And I do believe we had the over. Um, so that would have been great, but, uh, I didn't put it in on Patreon because I wanted to see how the Canadians were going to respond. Most of the time, uh, a team responds favorably after they fire the coach, but I had an inkling that the firing of the coach was not something that the players thought was cool at all and were confused by, in which case I thought that they would probably lose and they did. Okay. Let's go to our picks for today. Now it's today, because I did do it last night. Uh, today. Odds, there we go. Okay. Uh, Boston versus Rangers. Um, Boston's on a back-to-back. -back. The Rangers, if it was most teams, I would probably go with the Rangers here. But um, now can we, because these odds weren't up last night. Can we refresh this? Still no odds. What's going on with that? They're seriously waiting for goaltending here. It's going to be Tuka Rask and Gorgiev is in. Why do they not have odds here? It could be injuries. It could be coming back for the Rangers. So if you go over to Patreon, I update things like that that happen and may change my picks as they happen. For instance, is Panarin going to be playing again or something like that? 
As it stands, the Rangers roster is pretty depleted right now. Um, we can look at the, this. Now it's morning time. We can see. We can refresh our injuries. See what's going on here with injury report. Panarin. Okay, it's still going, so he's not going to be back. Is Heidel going to be back? Yes, look at that. We didn't know that last night. Heidel will be back in the rotation, which helps, but he's been out for a while, and he's probably going to be uh, pretty a little bit rusty. He's been out for quite a bit. The big one here is Keandre Miller is not out, and Jacob Truba. Those two guys to their that defense, you cannot have those guys losing those guys. They don't have the roster to be able to support it, especially after D'Angelo. They uh, let D'Angelo, you know, relieved him of his duties because of whatever he did. Uh, I think Boston's going to have to win that game, even on a back-to-back. -back. I just don't think the Rangers are strong enough this year to beat too many teams, especially a strong team, even on a back-to-back. -back. So I'm going to go with uh, Boston ML, which doesn't give you the greatest juice, but I don't like saying in regulation here. If you got the guts, go in reg. But on a back to back, I generally like to play it safe and just go ML. So, um, Minnesota versus Los Angeles. Los Angeles is on a six game winning streak. Um, and Minnesota is just, is raw, just destroyed Colorado. Probably going to be on a high. Um, I think I got, what did, did I, I have the wild ML here. I, I'm not afraid of Los Angeles PL to keep it close, but they've been playing a lot on the road. I think Minnesota is a very hardworking team. So if Los Angeles is tired at all, my, my, uh, Minnesota should be able to pull this out. Um, the problem is Los Angeles is playing so well and especially playing from behind. And, uh, you know, even if they're tired, they can play defensive. They're playing excellent. But I'm going to take Minnesota. I will go the under here, though, at uh, five and a half, under five and a half. And the Bruins game as well, I'm going to go the under, simply because I don't think the Rangers are going to be able to score enough against Rask. Um, I'm not so sure about that one. This one's probably under. Um, Quick is playing extremely well. I It says right now... That starting goaltenders is Talbot uh, is back. I don't know. No, it doesn't say. It doesn't tell you anything. See, Tuka Rask and Gorgiev is in there. That's left wing lock, left wing lock. It's the best where I said it. Um, so we're going in, in Minnesota. This is a, Arizona, Colorado. This is a tough one. For the juice, I'm get like Carolina. Carol, Colorado's got to come out of this uh, sort of funk that they're in. Um, I, you would think they're too strong of a team, but I'll tell you, I watched them when I watched them against Minnesota. They got to start hitting more. Last year, they were not just a skilled team; they were a, a, a heavy team that would hit you, and they were not hitting. Um, I have to imagine they're going to turn that around here fairly soon. They just got to watch some tape and say, "Hey, you know, last year this was you. This year, this is you. Okay, got to start hitting, guys." Um, Maybe they just think they're, they heard all the hype. Uh, I know, you know, they probably heard my videos, right? Everybody heard my videos with uh, uh, Steel Flyers group, uh, off the wall hockey, Pro Joe and Steel, Steel from Steel Flyers, talking about, you know, they were a shoe in to maybe even win the cup this year. They're going to be so strong. They're going to easily win. And they must have heard all that. They must have been, well, I know you're watching right now, boys. From uh, Colorado, and uh, you're, you're getting very close to having to come to the Perlo's house of spanking. Uh, we'll have to come pick you up in the Perlo copter because you got to start hitting, especially against a team like Arizona. Uh, Arizona is a hardworking, hard team, very hardworking team. Um, not and no significant injuries on Arizona either. So, take a quick look here. See if anything's changed. See, oh, Allmark was hurt too at the last second. Look at last night. That's what happened. Oh, would have had that for sure if I would have known that. 
Uh, normally, I know all that stuff. I would, if you were a Patreon member, I would have saw that Linus Allmark was injured halfway through the day or whatever because I keep on watching for it. And I post it up there and say, hey, change your bets. Linus Allmark is hurt. I don't like that game as much anymore. But uh, yeah, Rant and Jose show shouldn't be any problems there. Colorado's got a few people out. No reason why they shouldn't win this game. But I can't go with them. So uh, I just, until I see some, a team that's hitting a little bit or doing something, I'm going to take, I might even take Arizona ML here at home. Um, we'll see. But for sure, I would go PL uh, right now. Sorry, let's go to spread. What are you getting? 159, 158. I mean, you're getting the same for Colorado on that. Arizona's working so hard, and with Kemper and Net, it's very possible they keep it to one goal the way Colorado's playing right now. Um, it's too bad that I almost, I'm pretty fady on this game because this should be a Colorado and Reg all over it. But Colorado's got to get their butt in gear. Um, so now as far as total is concerned, I'm going to go under. Colorado hasn't scored with a darn. Uh, even in their win against Vegas in the outdoor game, uh, they haven't scored. Minnesota was 5-2. They only scored two goals. This is very odd. Nobody saw this coming. you got to think McKinnon's going to break out here or something soon. Is this the game, though? That's the question. Is this the game? Um, now that they are on this, uh, you know, doing COVID, uh, because of COVID, they don't have a lot of practice time to figure stuff out. Uh, once they get to their home rink, they're on the road right now, uh, then maybe you'll see uh, some adjustments, but this one should be fairly simple. You guys, they got a hit. They got a hit. So I'm probably fading this game until I see Colorado start hitting again, and then I'll stay call take Colorado. Until then, I may go, you know, after doing some meditation and stuff, you know, doing my ohms. Something may wake me up and go, okay, Arizona ML, we're doing it. Arizona ML. But right now, it's probably a good spot for Arizona on ML for 250, 255. Okay, that's my full 42. And I'm, man, I'm make darn good and sure I have audio this time. That's an interesting concept. Get this out to you guys. Uh, have a great day. Lots of love to you. Okay, bye.